Hello viewers, this is Leva Buhai, your information TV. As you see, I will be sharing today a tropical perennial plant which is called Calathea. And as, as you know, it's a lot of varieties of Calathea, but this one is called the Calathea Sibrina. And as you see, it's also called the zebra plant. It is easier to locate than some Calathea varieties. The striking light green, as you see there, and those velvety leaves with uh, purple undersides. So if you look at it, see the undersides of it are purple. They earn their common name due to the dark green stripes running across them, resembling a zebra. That is why it's called the Calathea zebrina. This tropical perennial plant is native to southeastern Brazil. So each leaf, as you see, are really big and each leaf can actually grow over 12 inches tall as you watch this video you will see that I'm going to to measure the length of the leaf so you will really see how big are the leaves of this plant And later on, it will be shown in this video that these green calatheas that is looking like a zebra at night, they will actually fold. So the first time when we bought this, my husband was like, oh, the calathea is dying but actually it's not at daytime they look like that they are like you know like uh, spreading out the leaves are spreading out and you will really see those zebra uh, uh, how to say it this zebra form of uh, the calathea leaves uh, but then or the zebra or those green stripes that are really running across them but actually at night they fold and they look like dead so my husband first the first time he saw it he thought that Calathe the calathea plant was dead but it is not it is one of the characteristic of a calathea so it's only at daytime that they are spreading their leaves like that and they look so wide and big. Calathea zebrina produces insignificant whitish purple flowers in spring. But I don't know because here in Sweden I have them inside. But maybe when you see them in tropical countries, this kind of perennial flowers actually can bear flowers when they are even outside in the garden or even in the wild. But I don't know, here in Sweden, I've never seen yet a calathea that is blooming flowers. If it will, that would be very lucky for me if it will happen. But I don't think it will, especially when I have them indoors. And uh, I think until the summer, I will just always have them indoors because calathea plant loves sunlight, but they don't like it when it's direct sunlight. So to make your calathea uh, grow healthy, you have to have it moist. You should have a fertile soil with good drainage 
and where indoor temperatures range between 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and place away from drafty and cold locations. So it's it is because they are tropical plants they never like when it's not warm. So thanks for all I have them in my living room. So as you see, my living room, every all the walls in this living room, except one wall, is uh, is made of glass. Uh, but then I have, we have the, how do you say it? We have a floor heater in this house, so uh, they are uh, anyway have a warm area to grow so as you see i am measuring it and it is being measured in centimeters and it's kind of like 30 34 centimeters so it's all around like 12 inches you know so as you say they are really big if you have a big area in your house try to get some calathea plant and if you wonder this calathea plant the Calathea Sabrina is the one that is wide and tall, uh, but there are a lot of varieties of Calathea and some Calathea can be just have a wide, uh, it's a wide but it's not tall, but the Calathea Sabrina is wide and tall, so it's really very nice. Here as you see, the Calathea is folding that is why calathea plants are also known as the praying plant because they look like they're praying when it's night and as you see at night time you will almost just see more that all the leaves are standing but actually they are more like closing so that that's how they look like when it's at night time they are closing so as you see here you cannot see the outside because it's night time and with the help of the artificial lamps so you see clearly how they look like at night so at night time they look like that isn't it interesting i find it so interesting watching them and observing them how they look like at daytime and nighttime and i already showed you how they look like on the first part of this video when it's daytime and so at nighttime it looks like this and uh, they are so beautiful and regarding about the growth of it bright filtered light produces the best growth too little light results in leggy plants and too much direct sunlight results in the leaves losing their color and possible borns so it's very good to maintain high humidity and feed monthly during growing season. So me, I will try doing it. But as I said on my other videos before, I am trying to do organically, to grow my plants indoors organically. It means I usually use organic fertilizers in the form of, uh, it can be waste of, of you know, dried waste of animals that I bought in the plant, uh, plant boutiques. So here, as you see, that's how it looks like. This is taken during night time. So I will continue the care tips of the Calathea. You never water with chlorinated water or leaf spotting can occur. Use rain water, bottled or distilled water, or allow your tap water to sit out overnight before using to water or mist for humidity. Calatheas require a humid environment, especially during winter, so when you have them indoor. So use one of these methods to keep humidity. I mean, you can have a, a you know, air uh, humidifier or how they call it to, to make the place humid. Uh, you make, uh, this I think is a very good tip.
So one thing, never over fertilize your calafia. Again, this is Liva Buhay saying bye-bye.